plans to be back, to, back at Exeter tonight. They tried to make the trip in January, but it got called off with three hours' notice. I asked Michael Duff about the backing of the fans when they returned to St James's Park. You mentioned it, a um, pretty frustrating day for the, for the club when, you all went, when we all went down to Exeter, fans as well. And, and you know, Is there any extra motivation after that, now you're going down again? We shouldn't need any extra motivation. It's where we are in the, the league, the run that we've been on. Um, so I don't think, I know supporters might think you use things like that. It's like, well, you know, it wasn't their players' fault that they got the game called off. Um, you know, no one can control the weather. We're not in a league where every ground's got under sole heating, so they did everything they can. The pitch is good. Like I said, went there Saturday and pitched up really good, but it was it was hard in places, so there's nothing everyone could do about it. Mm. Whether they can call it off early or not, it's got nothing to do with me. So, but we went down on Monday anyway. So I think the club, our club, did everything they could in terms of putting the game on here, the bounce game, um, mm. on the weekend afterwards to try and give uh, a little bit back. But we're fully supportive. You know, I know how far it is. You know, I've done it. I've done it this weekend. I've done it. Uh, come driven back up there, and I'll go back down to, uh, this afternoon. So I know how far it is. I know how expensive it is in terms of getting up and down. So anyone that makes the trip, we're, we're fully, fully appreciative of. Um, but yeah, there'll be no, there'll be no. We owe these ones because of that. They beat us early in the season. Mm-hmm. Again, that what we use the motivation is. We're on a good run. There's a chance. We need it's our game, one of our games in hand. So can, we're the only team that's playing in the league. So can we, um, can we win the game? Um, Doug, we come off back of a South Yorkshire derby win against Sheffield Wednesday. What were your thoughts on that? Fantastic night, brilliant performance, um, great win for 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 Barnsley. Um, I think it'll be one that lives long in the memory. Um, you know, it was a tough game. Wednesday came back very strongly, and at times Barnsley were struggling a bit, but they they found a way to. To keep the score at two-two and, and reacted brilliantly um, once the once the equaliser went in. To be fair, and and, and t- turned the game on on its head and, and you know won the game. And the scenes afterwards were were brilliant when Liam Kitchen's goal went in the pictures and the, and the videos of the celebrations. And it just seems like another um, step in this this great run that they're on at the moment. Uh, obviously, they're in fantastic form before that, but to beat uh, their you know their local rivals and team they really want to be uh, at home scoring four goals is only going to kick that on even further. Um, on Sunday they slipped up again um, against Forest Green, surprise result. Um, is the momentum with Barnsley now do you think going in? Well it, obviously any time a, a rival drops points it's good for Barnsley. Um, <clears throat> I think they'll be focused on themselves. I think what it, what it does do is it's quite a good reminder that you know, a lot of the talk at this season about League One is that uh, the, the top six or top eight just win every single game. It's obviously not the case. There are teams that are fighting for their lives, and on their day, they can they can shock even the, the teams that are massively expected to win. So, Barnsley, Barnsley will know that going to Exeter and go, they've got Forest Green as well. So that it'll be a good reminder now. With I think they play five of the bottom seven in the le- next nine games. Not to take those games lightly. If they were going to, uh, hopefully they wouldn't need that anyway. But just. If they're a guard against any complacency, if there was any. Uh, Barnsley, they've been playing against some of the bigger teams in the league. Would it be right to say that they've struggled earlier on in the season, slipped up against you know teams who they should probably be beating? Exeter, another one of those? Yeah, they, they were poor against Exeter in October. I think they were on a really good run going into the game. Um, six matches unbeaten with a few wins and it looked like they, you know, they'd sort of really uh, found some momentum. And then that started a, a really poor October when they lost at home to to Exeter on October the 8th, I think. Um, but I think it's more, rather than sort of big team, little team, I think it's just that Browns have just really found their rhythm at the moment. Hopefully that proves to be the case in, in this game. But um, uh, yeah, I think obviously they've come off this huge run of games against the top six and they'll just look to, to keep it going against a more mid-table team in, in Exeter. Um, it's a long trip. You made it last time. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you remember about that day? Well, I got. I think we got to about twenty miles away or something like that, and just got the call saying it was off, and it took yeah, and pretty much got off the next uh, junction and were on the way home. It was it was a very strange one, obviously. Lots been said about the way Exeter handled it and the um, the communication, which was poor. They've apologised for it. To be fair to them, um, and I think there should probably be some changes to the way the EFL um, sorts these things out in terms of trying to avoid things like that happening again. But 
Um, yeah, my memories are quite a frustrating day, but hopefully we make it all the way this time. And uh, the Barnsley fans, who you know, it's more important the Barnsley, for the Barnsley fans. I get paid to go down there, so do the players and coaches. But they're taking time out of their their jobs and everything else to you know spending money to to go there. So it's um, you know it's about them, and I think a few hundred of them will, will go, and hopefully they get three points to cheer. Um, their home form has been decent recently. Does a loss potentially rule out the top two or? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, any loss feels pretty damaging at the moment. They're on, they're on uh, great form, obviously, Barnsley want to keep it going on very tight margins. It looks like you probably 90 plus points to get in the top two. So, yeah, it would be damaging, but I suppose there's a lot, there would still be eight games to go after that. So, you know, they, they think if, if they can recover, recover from that with another good win, they'd still have a, a good run, sorry, with, uh, they'd still have a chance. But, yeah, um, obviously... Uh, any defeat now would be damaging. Uh, any injury news, team news for t for tonight? No, they're having a good run with no injuries really. Everyone's fit again, so um, yeah, um, should should be uh, a clean bill of health. Um, make sure you subscribe to the Chronicles YouTube page for more uh, pre-match team news.